SSIS learning module is going on and in this video we will talk about the change data capture feature. This is the feature of the SQL server and by using this feature we will implement our SSIS package. To extract the changes, modifications like insertion, updation and deletions from different SQL server sources is a major challenge. SQL server introduced a feature which is known as the CDC change data capture feature which uses the transaction log sequence number to detect the changes in the sources. So to implement this CDC features, we need some configurations. First of all, the user which will enable the CDC on the SQL Server database must be belongs to the sys admin fix server role. And then we, the SQL Server agent service must be running on the same SQL Server instance where we have enabled the CDC. This SQL Server agent service, what it will do, it will read the logs. This agent service will allow the CDC process to read the logs and then SQL Server will write the, the entries into the related uh, capture table, related tables, CDC table. So, and then we have to enable the CDC functionality on our required table from where we want to extract the data. For example, this is a customer source table. If we need to extract the data from this table, we have to enable the CDC functionality on this customer source table. When, when, this, we, we, when the user will enable the CDC functionality on this database, then the SQL Server will create a schema with the name of the CDC. So when we enable the functionality on the table, on our required tables, then the SQL Server behind the scene will create a system table with the schema CDC dot customer source underscore ct with the same name of the our uh, this source table uh, it will add some extra um, uh, extra this uh, alphabets with this uh, table so this table the sql server or agent service will re when it sql server agent service will allow the cdc process to read the sql server log file and will then write this entry into these tables so this table is known as the capture instance table and it's also known as the shadow table. Now we will go to the SQL Server Admin Studio to do these configurations. This is the SQL Server Management Studio and uh, this instance is our source instance and this is the trading DB is our source DB. We have to enable the CDC feature on this DB and then here this customer underscore data this is a table from where we want to extract the changes so we have to enable the cdc functionality on this table also so how to enable this cdc feature we have to do some sql commands like this is my uh, source database from where i want to extract the data i have to enable the cdc feature by using this command sys dot sp underscore cdc underscore enable underscore uh, db it's saying it's already enabled so i can check uh, that it's already enabled or not by using this uh, sql command this is a query and this is saying that it's enabled is one mean this feature is already enabled on this sql server so next i have to enable the cdc functionality on my required table the table name is the customer data from where i will extract the data so i need to enable this functionality on this table to enable the functionality on the table this is the syntax for the sql server query so we have to enable the uh, this cdc feature on the table and this is the schema name and this is of my table name and this schema is a user belongs to the cdc this admin role and uh, this is the capture instance which is the shadow table is this one and sport net change is equal to one when this feature is enabled sport net changes it means the this will retrieve only the final image of a row 
for example we have did many changes in the steam table like uh, this is the table i updated the address and then again i updated the address the net changes mean it will take the last image of the data when this uh, will be enabled so i will enable uh, the cdc feature on my source table so it's successful and the cdc feature is enabled if i can, uh, want to check it's enabled or not this is the command to check and it's saying it's enabled is one so i uh, can you know when this cdc feature is enabled uh, on the database and on the table there are some changes sql server will do automatically for so it will create the schema with the name of the cdc like um, this is the schema it will create this schema cdc and when i will enable the cdc feature on my table then the sql server will create the uh, this shadow table in the system tables so this is the customer source underscore ct ct this shadow table with the schema name cdc so these are the changes it, it uh, the sql server will do automatically and uh, this if i will check this uh, uh, shadow table it has some uh, columns right now it will be empty because there is no uh, data changes which you need to capture and uh, this uh, this is a start sln uh, lsn and these uh, s sql values these are the uh, logs sequence numbers this log sequence number will identify the transaction and the operation will identify which kind of operation is happened here for example one mean the delete operation is happened and two mean insert and three mean the update before image for update after image and five is mean if here is the number five it means some merge operation is happened so this table is giving some information this table the shadow table have the same columns of the source table but these are the extra columns which are giving some information that what kind of the operation is occurred on this uh, source table and the transactions information so we have the now the configurations uh, for the cdc on this database and on the table now we will go to uh, prepare our ssis package